I think this is like the typical road trip experience. That's what everybody thinks of, like long haul drives and then unique landscapes. You like kind of step through different scenery and this is this is really it. You can like just pull over and keep going the next day and explore more of this really awesome part of the country. We went up the scenic drive and stopped on a couple of spots just to take a look down and read the signs and uh, understand the historic landmarks there. And it gave us a great overview to kind of um, orient ourselves later because looking at it from up top you can kind of understand better where you are when you're downtown in the city. The hotels downtown are pretty modern, pretty luxury, pretty nice, and that gives you kind of the mix or the opportunity to go out to the outdoors and then coming back to a nice environment and just, just relax for a couple of days before you move on. So that's that's really unique and, and nice to do in, in El Paso. I mean, very authentic, um, very Mexican-inspired food. Coming from Germany, it's not something we really have over there that is quite unique and, and really pleasant here. Think of Texas usually like cowboy hats and guns and cowboy boots and so we saw a lot of that authentic uh, stuff around town and the people we met up with and the stores we explored. So this is like this unique uh, hand manufactured boot maker and it was great for a German to go in there because it's like the Texas heaven kind of thing where you can get customized boots with whatever you want on them and very famous people come there to get them ordered. So that was very unique and, and definitely something I'll remember forever. I mean, the cemetery itself didn't look too interesting at first, but then once we found out about the stories and the people that were buried there and the the gunfights that have happened. And he was stopped by Wild Bill Hickok. And Hickok said, uh, Mr. Harden, you need to turn in your gun. And Harden said, yes, sir, I believe it. I will give you my gun. So he took his gun like this. He did the Texas roll. Uh, that was really, really nice. And then meeting up with a local uh, really helped understand the rich culture. So Waco Tanks a State Park and Historic Site is about 45 miles east of El Paso. And it's a very unique uh, landscape, very unique rock. It's also become a very sacred site to a lot of the Native Americans and tribes that have passed through here. There's a lot of people that have come and gone through here, and so it's very sacred to them and to everyone. And in recent years, it's become a great rock climbing destination. It's so unique to just have a couple of mountains in the middle of the desert that provide any range of, of boulder grades and, and including rope climbing. That was definitely um, something very unique. The rock was really nice and solid, but surprisingly grippy, and now I understand why so many people come down here in the winter. Another very unique part about Hueco Tank State Park is the rich nature of rock art. When you're done climbing or you're hiking from one side to the next, you kind of you come by these rock arts, so all the paintings, and that was really nice. It was really a great trip. We saw a lot, we did a lot, a lot of diversity. There's a nice downtown life, and but also outdoors activities that are really, really awesome. <laughs>